The use of data centers is growing. To the extent new data centers cannot be avoided by better computer codes and more efficient computers, how should we power them cleanly? Hi, I'm Mark Jacobson, Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Stanford University to tell you how. First, if a data center is not connected to the grid, there are at least three ways to provide constant, clean, renewable electricity to it. One is to build solar or wind or both nearby and solar on the data center rooftop, together with battery and hydrogen electricity storage. Excess solar and wind will be stored in batteries and hydrogen. Batteries provide short and medium term storage. Hydrogen, when coupled with a fuel cell, provides long term electricity storage. A second method is to build a nearby enhanced geothermal facility. With enhanced geothermal, heat is extracted from three to eight kilometers deep in the earth to run a turbine to generate constant electricity. The third method is to combine the first two methods. What if the data center is connected to the grid? In that case, the data center owner can use any of the first three methods just discussed or pay homeowners or businesses to build rooftop solar plus battery systems to free up grid electricity for data center use. This is because people use their own rooftop solar electricity first, reducing their need for grid electricity. In fact, during the first 11 months of 2025, Grid electricity demand on California's main grid was down 2% versus 2024, largely because of the growth of rooftop solar, despite the growth of data centers and, and electric vehicles in the state. What won't and shouldn't be used to power data centers? Small modular nuclear reactors. These are non-existent, non-commercial technologies or vaporware and can't even be built from planning to operation in less than 12 and up to 23 years. Enhanced geothermal does the exact same thing as nuclear, but faster, cheaper, and without weapons proliferation risk, meltdown risk, or radioactive waste risk. Let's focus on what is useful and what works.